In this video, I want to talk about how we can take a polynomial function and some divisor in the uh, form x minus k, and we're going to rewrite it in this form right here, and it's uh, the divisor x minus k times uh, the quotient here, uh, q of x, and then uh, plus r, which is your remainder. Okay, so the way we're going to do this is first by using synthetic division. So if we're using x minus 2, and it's supposed to be an x minus k form, we're going to say that k value is positive 2. So we're going to go ahead and use our synthetic division, put that 2 out front there. And synthetic, remember, uh, is concerns itself with the coefficients and then the constant there at the end. And then I'll put this box here for our remainder. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this division. So I'm going to bring down that leading coefficient of 6 and then go through this series of multiplications and additions. So 2 times 6 is 12. When I add here, I get negative 7 times 2 is negative 14. When I add here, I get 2. 2 times 2 is 4. So my remainder ends up being negative 3. Okay. So when I build this back up, here's my constant, my linear term, and my quadratic term. So my q of x, which is my quotient, ends up being 6x squared minus 7x plus 2. And my remainder then is negative 3. And my divisor that I used at the beginning was that x minus 2. Okay, so now that we have all three pieces, the q of x, the r, and the divisor, I can go ahead and write it in this form. Okay, so I'm going to say my function can be rewritten as the x minus 2, which was my divisor, times my q of x, which is this quotient polynomial here, this function, and then plus, and it's a negative right here, so sometimes I've seen a plus a negative 3 in parentheses or just a minus 3. I think for now, let's go ahead and put plus a negative 3, and I have the understanding that that's my r value, and you can just as easily just say minus 3, and that's okay too. So here's my divisor, and then here's this q of x. Okay, so why do we write it in that form? Well, a couple of reasons. One, uh, so we can see what the remainder is, and so we can kind of differentiate between uh, the quotient and see just if this divisor, what this relationship is when I divide this polynomial. Okay, so let's go ahead and multiply all this back out, and I'm going to show you that we should end up with our f of x once again. So we'll go ahead and distribute through this x and then this negative 2. And then when I'm done, I'll add this negative 3, which was our remainder. So x times these terms will give me 6x cubed minus 7x squared plus 2x. And then when I multiply by the negative 2, I'll have negative 12x squared plus 14x minus 4. And then the remainder here of negative 3, so I'll kind of just... I'll put it all together. So 6x cubed minus 19x squared plus 16x minus, and it looks like minus 7. And that is uh, our original function right here. So the coefficient 6, negative 19, 16, and negative 7. Back up to the top, 6, negative 19, 16, and 7. So we just changed the form it was in by uh, using this divisor, going ahead and dividing it out finding the quotient along with the remainder, and then writing it in this form where we have divisor quotient plus remainder.